So for me, these last three days have been filled with things and people to meet. And I haven't been very good at vlogging it. Uh, basically, I've left a lot of people out of the vlog on purpose. Um, but that means that right now, uh, I'm in Frankfurt. That's like 1,200 kilometers away from home. And today has, till now, been completely chill. And the rest of the day, I intend to be completely chill. But I do want to talk with you guys about elite specializations today. What? Because right now, as of recording this, everyone else but me is going to experience the elite specializations in the beta weekend. So I want to talk about it. For anyone actually wondering about the uh, over-the-shoulder shot, this thing is the answer. Basically, um, a couple of years ago, I, I built this thing specifically for the purpose of running with the bulls. However, it turned out really quickly that um, cameras aren't allowed in the running of the bulls. And so uh, uh, I may or may not have been thrown out by the police. Go, go, go! But yeah, I built this thing with a with a buddy of mine. Um, basically, it's just a a back shield uh, for like motocross or skiing, and we uh, we basically drilled four holes in it and and attached this carbon fiber plate, and where uh, where we had the the option to to kind of make something to hold a stick for a camera, and so it's just about clicking on a. Uh, a GoPro at the end, and uh, boom, you've got FP or third-person shooter uh, view. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty fond of this. If you uh, if you see the right lighting, maybe you can see the the Batman symbol as well. I etched that in just for fun, you know, Batman, Superman. That uh, makes a nice sound. Speaking of building things, um, I am just going to be spending the rest of the night in this room. Probably farming world versus world pips while I uh, talk with you guys. So really what I need right now is a battle station of some sort. And my bed's not necessarily the best place for that. So it's time to get creative. Since I've got basically uh, space for everything in the car, since it's just me, I've brought along as much as shit as I could, or as much as I... Uh, thought I might need. So here's an extra mouse pad. I've even brought my mouse. The touchpad functions on this is horrendous. Actually, scratch that. Everything on this is shit. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna strap this, my hard drive. That's where I actually got uh, Guild Wars installed because I don't even have enough space on the, on the iMac, or Air Mac. There's nothing better than really good tape when you're out traveling because Tape is used for everything. You can, you can literally fix up everything. So, for some reason, in every other European country except for Denmark, the uh, sockets have these uh, weird indentations or whatnot, right? Problem is, every single one of my uh, cables are basically perfectly round. And so, to remedy this, right, I tried to just 
cut this. But it turns out that the Mac um, cord has like this little plas plastic layer inside. So whatever. So I even, I, I had a, uh, a multi-socket kind of thing and I just kind of cut that thing into pieces. And that's how I get the electricity. Step two. All right, so I'll need a couple of different things. So you, what I want is a stand for my phone so I can watch videos because this PC or this laptop well it can't handle Guild Wars and anything else at the same time so basically I want to just make a, a, a little stand a little impromptu stand for my phone using GoPro stuff and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just wrap that around like so see et voila now all I need to do is set it in and I got a stand how fucking smart is that? Welcome to my battle station. So, elite specializations. I think lately, elite specializations for me have become more like the cornerstone of what uh, will actually drive Guild Wars 2 forward. The general gameplay and story and all the different features that are coming with the expansion Path of Fire, they genuinely get me excited, but the elite specializations is probably where I see most of the the meat and by that I mean they're very substantial basically elite specializations especially but also balance patches have the potential of completely shaking up the entire game not just the expansion not just future expansions but everything before that and so in many ways nine new elite specializations potentially will change the entirety of the game. The way that we experience it, the way that we play it, everything around it. And so for that reason alone, Elite Specializations is probably the thing that I am most excited about for the entire expansion. On top of that, uh, it must be said that I am not equally excited about all nine of them. Personally, the Elite Specializations that got me most height was the Firebrand and the Mirage. Contrary to what uh, you guys might think, the Renegade uh, still has not gotten me uh, on board. However, I'm convinced that trying it out might change that, but I genuinely don't like shortbow play and I feel like Renegade is a missed opportunity. Basically, what they build is a ritualist that summons spirits from another realm to boost your enemies in an AoE, but then they didn't make it a ritualist. They made it a Condi buffing companion, which probably is going to be super cool and super effective. It's just, it feels like a missed opportunity to me. The Firebrand, however, that thing got me super excited. Finally getting tomes back and finally being able to just shoot out burning and quickness and like, everything. There's just so many skills on the Firebrand. Contrary to my own beliefs, the Mirage actually got me excited for a very particular reason. Back in the very early days of Guild Wars, I used to main Mesmer for the longest time, and I used to love playing PvP with Mesmer. The whole aspect of toying with your enemies and using your illusions and shatters to cloak yourself, the Mirage really takes advantage of that, especially with that new weird dodge mechanic. I can't wait. Another surprising realization was actually that the Spellbreaker to me looked really really cool. But as for stuff like uh, Scourge and Soul Beast and the Deadeye, I think I will... I'll, I'll ha they, they, they definitely look interesting in, in that they really really change up their own gameplay. But to me they just don't really like that spark of interest. No doubt they'll probably be super interesting to play around with for anyone who likes them, but it's just not really uh, my kind of gameplay. This might all completely change whenever I actually get to try them. Now, since I don't really get to test out any of the new specializations before stuff actually goes live, I hope people just go completely ham on them this weekend. By the time that you're actually seeing this video, uh, the, the weekend will probably have been over. So, anyways, I think that's about all I wanted to actually say about the Elite Specializations for now. They've got me super excited and I cannot wait to play them and I cannot wait to play Path of Fire and just enjoy everything. But for now, I think I'll, uh, uh, I'll just chill for the rest of the night. Probably farm well, this is well, Pips. Um, <laughs> you'll know that if in two weeks from now, 
I actually have Warbringer. Uh, you'll know that I stayed up all night. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I know myself well enough to know that that is totally gonna happen.